I would just walk into school and everyone would go, Brandon, we love you. Hello, you guys, and welcome to We're Podding This Together, the podcast where we guide you through your favorite or not so favorite Disney Channel original movies. Thanks for listening. I'm Sammy. I'm Lori. And I'm Brandon. Again, it's still me. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is about a teenager who battles for a gold trying to keep his family from being controlled by an evil leprechaun. Yep. That's it. That's We're accurate. Wrap. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that going into this movie, so... You hadn't seen it before. No, I had seen it. I, I couldn't remember it. This is one of those decoms where when you tell people that you're watching decoms, they're like, why? And then they're like, oh, luckily the Irish is really good. <laughs> I remembered seeing it, but I don't, I think maybe it was just something that was on in the background a lot when I was a kid. Like, I think this may be the first time I've sat there and watched it. Yeah. Uh, if we can enter into Whore's Corner for a second, uh, Luck of the Irish is my number two most received answer on my Tell Me Your Favorite Disney Channel original movie bio in my Tinder bio. So there's really uh, only two answers. I get Brink and Luck of the Irish and then people who don't know what a decom is and they're like, Hocus Pocus. I'm like, no, unmatch. <laughs> unmatch. Did you guys know on its premiere, this was the highest rated decom ever? It is also considered one of, if not the best decom of all time. Okay. Yeah. I feel like somebody sounds editorialized. <laughs> like... I can see it. I, this is one of the ones that I remember the most. It was really commercialized i'm by that i mean i feel like they there were all these commercials it. for it yeah i f i reckon so i didn't really recognize the movie as i was watching it re really but there was a couple scenes where i was i remembered seeing those featured in a commercial this one is i knew going into it that it was a really popular one not just because of my my tinder experiment but because people tend to remember luck of the irish Watching it, I don't know why. I think it was higher budget than the rest, so it seems better on the surface. Oh, yeah, yeah those yeah. animations were pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I believed his mother was actually a foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, how could you tell? They did such a good job. I watched it behind the scenes after. I'm kidding. Oh. God, that would be horrible. <laughs> it has... The main guy is the guy from... Smart House. Uh-huh. Was he in anything else? He's acted a whole bunch. He was on Pretty Little, Li Pretty Little Liars as Ian Thomas. I don't know who that is, but that show's a pretty big deal. That is a brother of one of the girls, right? Or am I making I only up? remember the creepy teacher sex stuff from that show. Hold on, I'm Googling this. Oh, he's Melissa's uh, husband. Uh, Melissa is What's-Her-Face's sister. <laughs> very informative. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> Can I You're be honest? Welcome. I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> so it's a dream sequence opening because those are the best decom openings. And then Kyle begins pestering his parents about his heritage and they're really shady about it. And it's kind of funny because it was like almost as though they're in the, in what's it called? Witness protection program. Or they, they had killed people and then changed their names or something to avoid the, the popo. Like, realistically, that's the only reason they'd be like, oh, um, no, you don't need to worry about it. Just just don't poke around in it. None of it made sense. I don't understand why the cover-up. <laughs> they could have just said, you're Irish. And he would have been like, okay, thanks. Yeah, and it's not like on. you go, hey, you're Irish. Oh, <gasps> I'm a leprechaun. I know, what was, like, with, he was like, going to make a jump. The secretive... Like, heritage on his dad's side. Like, we never find out what his dad's... All we know is he's from Cleveland. Like, Well, that's the whole point. Is there, like, the dad's normal, and he's yeah, from Cleveland. Yeah, but, like, so when he's asking, like, with. he straight up asks dad first. He, like, doesn't even... It doesn't register to him that his mom has family, which, that's a problem. But he asks <laughs> his dad first. He's like, dad, what's our heritage? And then they get super shady. And it's like, dad could have just been like, oh, my family's from... Scotland or Poland or whatever, you know? And he changed his name. From, okay, his name went from Smith to Johnson. They were really trying with the names yeah. there. They put a lot of effort into well, it. Well, his real name was Robert Smith from The Cure. 
<laughs> oh my god, he changed his he's name. He's secretly, he's didn't like, he was really that? embarrassed about his like little like gothic emo past and he didn't want his son to find out how deep his feelings ran. This was a, like a weird subplot <laughs> that went nowhere. His dad being all shady and we never find out why. I don't agree. I think it did go somewhere, but we'll bring that up at the end when it all comes together. Okay. <laughs> I think it did. I'm actually in support of this movie. It was kind of stupid, but I liked it. I feel like after your parent trap experience, you've just been like adamant about like, you're not taking this away from me. I you're enjoyed not... it. It was good. <laughs> you don't get this one. This is my childhood and I'm not letting you rip it out of my hands. So Kyle is the least humble person ever. Like the parts where he's playing basketball, and he like points at girls and he's getting kisses and all of that. It looks like that would be the dream sequence from some nerd where he's like, I'm finally cool. I'm good at sports. Yeah, he walks into school and people are cheering for him. <laughs> and I think the reason I like this movie so much is because that's what my high school experience was like. I would just walk into school and everyone would go, Brandon, we love you. You're so good at everything. I'm like, I know. I've seen pictures <laughs> of you from high school. I know that was not the case. Whatever. <laughs> no one from high school is listening to this, so I can say whatever I want. So, there. So Kyle is, like, super lucky. He takes a test, and I guess he took too long. So just before the end of it, he just starts randomly circling answers. And his teacher is like, uh, you can't do that. You're, like, I take away points for getting them wrong. So you're just hurting yourself. But turns out they were all right. Any teacher IRL would see that kid do that. Be like, you were cheating. Come in after school and take this test again. Yeah. Like, even if it was just pure happenstance the teacher straight on watched him not actually think through it like he clearly was not well prepared for the test he didn't know what he was doing just because he got the questions right doesn't mean that he knew the correct answers i disagree i think this plot point is bulletproof (laughs) 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 and there's no way the teacher could have failed him on that test So yet again, we get him questioning his parents about the, his heritage. I think this was at dinner. And the yeah. mom had some like weird salad dish because she's a decom mom. And at one point she said, oh, you better eat. You don't want the oil to separate. I was like, what are you eating? What are you talking about? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> the oil in their salad. I actually like this part a lot. <laughs> when he's like, hey, mom and dad, what are we? Our, well, surely our ancestors were good at sports. Maybe they were cross-country skiers. Or maybe they were bullfighters. <laughs> or maybe they were good at soccer. Or maybe we're Indians. I don't it know. It was really weird hearing the word Indian because I'm so used now to it being Native American that I forgot it was like four seconds ago that Indian was the norm. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought he was talking about being Native American. Yeah, he was. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. This movie should not be concerned about being pc it kind of it kind of goes off the rails if it was concerned at all about offending any sort of human yeah race they covered everybody (laughs) yeah they're like look we're not even gonna try to say american indian or native american because we're about to piss off the entire country of ireland there was like 1.2 his friend was black and so he was like, yeah, something, something. We had to come here and work hard, blah, blah, blah. And then the guy was like, well, at least your ancestors got, ancestors got paid. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Whoa, I didn't catch that either. Yeah, this movie is really, I don't want to say it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking racist. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> so his parents won't tell him what heritage he is. So he goes to Google and types in Johnson. Yeah, well, he finds his dad's old yearbook, and it turns out he was he used to be Bob Smith, which <laughs> just makes things easier. Uh, but I Robert still, like, Smith. I am entirely unclear on to why the dad changed his name, and why the dad couldn't reveal his heritage. He's just really proud of being from Cleveland. Everybody loves being I... from Ohio. Right. They got the, like, the the rock history thing. Cleveland Hall of... I don't know. No, like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, that one. Oh, it is in Cleveland, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, located on the shore of Lake Erie. Full circle. It's it's not Erie, it's Erie. (laughs) 
Oh, no, yeah. that's the one in Ireland. <laughs> the one in Lake Erie is very specifically Lake Erie. Yeah. Because that's how he trips up the dude. But that comes later. Okay, I'm Googling why did the dad in Luck of the Irish change his name. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was probably just because, like, his mom may have been like, hey, dad, I'm dating this guy. Is it cool if I date a non- if I'm- is it cool if I marry a non-leprechaun? And then the dad was like, I will literally murder you all. And then she's like, mm, nope. Wait, Did I wasn't listening something? to you because I found the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you just said it. Okay, it says, Kyle's mother, being a leprechaun, married outside of her heritage. Her husband, Bobby, changed his last name to Smith, his last name Smith to Johnson, so that Kate's family couldn't find them. Yeah, bam. Bam. Suck it, Sammy. Smith. <laughs> You're not taking this been from just me. just hiding in plain sight, though. He could have kept it. I don't well, okay, so Sammy problem is. solved. Moving on. Okay, hold on. The grandpa's name was Riley O'Reilly. They did <laughs> not try at all. <laughs> they That's pretty good. Were... God, they put no effort into this stupid movie. Ugh. So anyway... Kyle somehow stumbles upon an Irish festival that happens to be taking place right around the time he's questioning his heritage. I will say the one thing this movie got right. So I'm about half Irish. And if I hear river dance music, I just, I can't not. It's like, I try to stop. It's weird. It's almost like, like, I just can't not do it. Something comes over your, your whole body. Interesting point. Because I realized that tap or what is this called? Tap dancing? Step, step river dancing. dancing. River dancing is the most awkward, uncomfortable thing to watch because their faces are stone cold and their like upper body doesn't move at all and their feet are just going and they look insane. (laughs) So that was the part of the movie that bothered you, Brandon. The only part. Okay, I don't understand all of the shoe stuff, so did either of you get that at all? No, it made no sense. So this this old man that we later find out is Kyle's granda. Which sounded Granda. 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 Uh, just like waltzes up to Kyle <laughs> and is just like, did you make your own shoes? <laughs> and Kyle's like, uh, no, they're, they're tennis shoes. He's like, oh, you bought them from a store, huh? He's like, uh, yeah. And he's like, I made my, like, he just like whips his own foot out and is like, I made these shoes. They, they've lasted me like 8,000 years or whatever. I don't know. Well, he's a cobbler. And then he's just like, oh, forget it. Give him some potatoes. That's you Spanish, not me. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's just like, oh, forget you. Here's some potato chips. This lady comes up, though, and she's like, you can't put your shoe up there. And I don't understand. Like, it was, like, at a necklace stand or something. And she was, like, very aggressive about him not putting his feet up, which was, like, yeah. It was the lamest way to get Grandpa out of the picture after that scene. He could have just been like, here's some money, and then left, instead of a lady being like, you can't put your feet there? Yeah, it was Yeah, and then so he disappears weird. using magic. And then there's, so there's, like, some river dancing stuff going on, and Kyle just, like, can't help himself. He's like, I don't know what's happening, I just want to dance. And then this Seamus guy shows up, and there's, like, some sort of dance-off or something. I don't know, that was weird. So the next morning, Kyle wakes up and things are weird. His mom is just suddenly Irish. He goes downstairs, she's got an accent, her hair's red, and she's making like super hardcore traditional Irish food for lunch. Surprise, you're Irish. And he's like, why have you been keeping? I don't think they tell him then, do they? I think they're like, oh, nothing's going on. No, I they d- don't want you to do an Irish accent anymore. It's <laughs> yeah, really please bad. Don't. But it's please hard don't. to talk about this movie and not do one. I don't think the mom's actually from Ireland, too. And if she is, and her dad is so opposed to non-Irish, like, in- why is Grandpa in Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's implied that she, the mom is from Ireland, and they're also like way older than they look. Because she was, she was, she gave her reason as to not telling him that he's Irish, uh, to be because, like, the Irish were heavily persecuted, and she didn't want him to face that persecution, and he's like, but mom, that was, like, a hundred years ago, and his mom just glosses over it. Mm. I, I kind of assumed that that meant that she was around during the persecution of the Irish, 
an well, American. later in the movie, his grandpa says, he was like, you don't get to be 400 years old yeah. without all these shoes or something. Is that like yeah. actual leprechaun lore? That's what I'm wondering for all of this. Like, is any of this actual, does does any of this have any basis in actual, like, folklore? No, they based this movie off of, like, a Lucky Charms commercial. Yeah, that's what, it made me feel like I was in kindergarten again when we were learning about, like, St. Patrick's Day. I kept waiting for somebody to say they're after me, Lucky Charm. I feel like all of this stays true to Irish folklore. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so glad we brought on our Irish expert. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon. I'm looking at Wikipedia, (laughs) and there's a section that says folklore, so I have to believe this movie holds true. Because that exists? Yep. Okay. Okay. So. I'm on luckoftheirishistrue.com, and it says everything checks out. (laughs) Yeah, moving on. He starts the luckiest, uh, what is it? The most unlucky day of his life. Where he's like, my life is the worst. And that girl who, like, came and talked to him, she's like, you haven't had to do any actual work ever. You don't appreciate people who have to do actual work. I did, like, Uh, the storyline... Meant not, it went nowhere, and so I, I don't think it had any purpose in this movie, but I liked that she was into basketball, and he was like, what do you know about basketball? And she's like, excuse me, and like slam dunks a ball. And I'm like, yeah. I like that. that was I thought cool. she was kind of a bitch. <laughs> I, I thought she was great. No, I thought she, like, was, she was kind of a bitch, but I liked that about her. She, he deserved it, though. No, he yeah. didn't. He didn't know any better. And she comes up and he goes, That's not ne- her fault. She goes, You've literally never had to work for anything in your life, Kyle Johnson. And it's like, How do you know? He you don't didn't, know though. Me. It's true. Was it not true? Well, yes. But <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know that. And what a, what a wildly exaggerated assumption for somebody to make. You've never done anything in your life. And well, he did the same me. thing to her when he was like, what What do you know about basketball? You're a girl. And she's like, I'm a professional well, WNBA it. player. She deserved it. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of rude. Did anybody else think when he picked up the dollar that it was going to have poop in it? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I did. No, that didn't did. occur to me. But... <laughs> poop dollar. Anyway, unlucky things are happening, and then Kyle's hair starts turning red, and his ears get pointy, and he puts on this really stupid hat, and that's fun. Do leprechauns have pointy ears? Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> Obviously, Lori. So Kyle discovers that his lucky charm is a fake. It's not real gold. His mom comes out as a leprechaun. <laughs> she's out of that leper closet oh yeah. leper yep. closet leper uh-huh. is an actual thing though so kyle discovers there's he has a lot so even when stuff starts getting unlucky he has a lot of lucky coincidences like the day that his necklace got swapped out is the day his class in science is learning what mag what metals are magnetic so yeah that's pretty good oh it's yeah convenient. i forgot that was how he finds out that his charm is not real gold i feel like decoms always take make things too complicated and they get themselves in trouble yeah. because he could have literally been like oh no it, there's a typo in this or like oh no there's paint chipping off or oh no it feels lighter like yeah they had to like specifically set up a school curriculum surrounding <laughs> how to have them find out this isn't real gold it was weird I thought it made sense. It was short enough and explained it well enough. It's 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 explained, but they just they they end up going off on these tangents to like over explain stuff and then that leaves them less time to make the whole plot good. And then we find out that his granddad was his granddad and we are led to believe that he stole the coin. And then they go to the potato chip factory which his grandpa somehow put into their city without them noticing and it has the best security of any 
potato chip factory in the entire world. Yeah, there was like a 15 minute chase scene where they tried to get into the factory. Why were they? Oh, they were getting into the factory to try to steal the coin back from Granddad. Um, so they try to sneak in there and they've got like secret service level security. This town. Okay, they're in Cleveland, as they say a whole bunch. But if a giant factory gets put in your town, you know about it. Also, the chip company is called Emerald Isle. So I feel like the mom would have been like, something's fishy. We better be careful. I think we've been found. Somebody's being idiotic. If Like, the mom's like, we have to hide from my father. Let's stay in this town where his his business is. That's a good point. So. They did happen to know exactly where the grandfather was. Because they went to the chip factory. So I wonder yeah. if, well, maybe it's keep your enemies close, sir. So that's why they live close to it. All right. Sealed <laughs> that point. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I might give you that one. Doesn't make a lot of sense. So they end up in their, like, in their van and they find his lucky coin. He's like, oh, I can tell that it's mine by the feeling, like... There is a bunch of moments in this that made me get, like, Lord of the Rings Hobbit vibes, and that one especially, like, he picks up the one coin and has a feeling. It's like the So one you're saying coin. this movie compares to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Oh, so anyway, he, like, grabs the ring and, the like, ring. this, <laughs> the dang ring. it. <laughs> we are not that far yet at all. No, we're, like, at the end. No, we're not. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, all we like, skipped is, like, the, the long, like, car chase, which was stupid. Oh, yeah. No, that <laughs> wasn't put stupid. The, that it was put awesome. the chase scene and Blues Brothers to shame. It was, like, 30 minutes long. <laughs> and then, there was, then there was a rainbow, and at the end of the rainbow was Seamus's RV, which had, okay, like, which a pot of Okay, which they left behind. It. Yeah. And so they're, like, in this Irish restaurant singing it's chanties and boozing up. <laughs> yes, Brandon. A pub. They're in a pub, and they're singing and dancing. And they see a gorgeous rainbow, and at the end of the rainbow is the RV <laughs> that belongs to Shane. I feel like we've mentioned this point like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> I just I can't get over the fact that he has an RV. I thought that was hysterical, and then that the fact that there was a car chase with the RV. So he finds his lucky coin. And they get their luck back. Well, Grandpa is like, let's steal them all. And then the, the grandson, Basketball Boy is his Kyle? name. Basketball Kyle? Boy is like, Grandpa, we shouldn't steal. And then Grandpa's like, well, maybe one of these is your lucky coin and you're wrong. We should take them all. And then he's like, but Grandpa, we shouldn't steal. And he's like, the streets aren't made of gold. You got to get them where you can. And like, dude, you own a potato chip factory. You're fine. You have like a hot, green, maybe, convertible. Maybe the potato chip factory is sinking maybe they're not as popular as they once were their potato chips like the quality is just going downhill and he's, <sighs> he's been he's been trying to save costs okay, where he Brandon. can but it's just his it's father wants his grand his granda wants to <laughs> sorry <laughs> his granda wants to steal the coins because this movie is racist. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, have we successfully broken your spirits in defense of this movie? I'll be honest, this point right here is when everything <laughs> fell apart for me. I liked the movie overall. This is where it part. fell apart for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I can tell you the exact moment when Seamus pops in and he's like, boo, I'm a ghost. And then he like disappears with the grandpa. Yeah, like the the gold like explodes or something and it like sucks them in and then he like shows yeah. up again outside the rv it was weird basketball boy makes a bet with dancing boy about if if i can beat you i get my coin back and it, that wording was very important mm -hmm. you want to know why why brandon because they play eight games and they're all these old irish games and I have them written down. <laughs> we want to be very Just accurate here. I have to say these because they were all super funny. Okay, so they go back in time. They just do magic like crazy. And they start playing curling and rock lifting <laughs> and throwing a chariot wheel and soccer and wrestling. <laughs> Football. And 
spear throwing, and they do a foot race, and they do tap dancing, which is not a sport. What the fuck? You cannot just start break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, but they actually they mentioned that they're like dancing is not a sport, and then <laughs> Dancing Boys like in Ireland it is. Ireland it is, and then they tie. Yeah, so since they tie, he's like, "Oh, you didn't beat me!" Ha ha ha. So it's basically like some genie bullshit where he's like, you know, wording. So then he like steals his grandpa and his coin, and then basketball boy is like, "I bet I can beat you." in basketball without my lucky charm and then for some reason everybody at this junior high accepts that this like grown-ass man is playing basketball (laughs) randomly i loved it i loved it when the one kid was like is this guy in junior high and everybody else is like yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah duh. well it was it was him and his goon so they were all these middle-aged men playing basketball against this high school team and this felt like a trip the, the team that they were supposed to be playing what happened to them did they <laughs> are they like tied up all. in a closet somewhere <laughs> and what happens here oh the granda gives a special lucky coin to kyle's friend so he gives him felix felices because it's actually fake they have all the luck in their heart so basketball boy wins after the other guy turns into like some teen wolf leprechaun crap terror monster my god that was (laughs) the best part of this movie he's like give me the ball (laughs) 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 yeah that was good i would recommend watching the last 10 minutes of this movie to anybody because <laughs> i have a feeling this is going to be the podcast people are like i'll download luck of the irish because that's like my favorite one so for anybody who's made it this far watch the last 10 minutes you won't regret it <laughs> so there's the whole he wins he banishes him to lake erie in cleveland or something and it's a whole joke because he's like oh, i'll pronounce it right at least and then he's like my father's from cleveland ha <laughs> ha and then okay that all happens but that's not the important part about the ending of the movie the ending of the movie part that matters the most is when there's a huge like he starts river dancing for their whole heritage day thing and then everybody gets back on stage to sing this land is your land and then everybody in the audience is so moved they too stand up and they mm-hmm. start singing this land is your land and then there's a freeze frame mhm 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 that was a good ending i can't explain how i felt about this movie like i felt like my brain was slowly liquefying as i watched this I just, I couldn't make it make sense. This movie actually had some kind of uplifting moments at the end. When they were like, it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter who your hair, what your heritage is. You get to be who you are. And he was like, I may be Irish, but I'm also American. And in America, this is how I do it. I don't know where because it came out in 2001. I'm, I'm wondering if it came out. Okay. I'm guessing it came March. Out March. Okay. Because, like, if. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Duh. Because it seems. No, like I was movie guessing that because Xenon out. was oh. January and then Motocross. Yeah. And so I was just doing math. But. The whole, like, we're all Americans. The thing about America is that we don't give up and we make stuff of ourselves and blah, blah, blah. It seems like a very post 9 11, like, patriotic, feel good movie. I had not made that connection. And really? Think, that was kind of yeah. a big one. Yeah, it was. And yeah. <laughs> that was the whole movie, literally, Sammy. That was the whole point. Brandon's like, I'm not calling point. you stupid. <laughs> well, she, but, the girl, the girl Bonnie, yeah, she was like, here, you're American, your father's heritage is American, and here we work hard for what we want, and we don't give up, and we don't rely on getting lucky. Okay, but we work. that girl is the same girl who kept saying, you don't know your heritage. You need your heritage. It's about who you are. Where'd your family come from? And he's like, my parents are from Cleveland. She's like, that's not good enough. What's your real heritage? Yeah, Lori, because it was a test. She was testing him. So he <laughs> could finally say, well, you know what? I am American, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> We're oh. Americans, not Americans. Yeah. <laughs> No, I felt like there was something to learn from this movie. I mean, so, it's not probably the best movie to go to if you, like, really need to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something in there. I know what I, I learned. 
I learned that Brandon does a very inaccurate Irish accent. I was yes. doing so good earlier today, too. Was when practicing. nobody was around to hear you, I bet it was fantastic. It was pretty good. I can say granda. <laughs> can you, though? I learned that at the moment you find out what your heritage is, you start to revert to that accent. It's it's insane. I honestly, I don't know how accurate the lore is, but I love that kind of Wait, stuff. Wait, hold on. Earlier you said you looked into it and that it was all accurate. Was that a lie? I'm trying to be honest now. You know what I liked? I liked the universe that this movie existed in. Cleveland? Where there was... No, like <laughs> Cleveland. No, where it was like there was magic in this world and they were yeah. transported to like Ireland. And I just liked the world that it was in. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, I liked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate this movie, Brandon? Go. Six out of ten. Jesus, hell. Okay, you're going to bring up the average on that one, huh? Yes. Sammy? Uh, two. No Lori, way. that's me. I'm rating it uh, two as well. That's insane <laughs> and wrong. It was fun. It wasn't bad. It was bad. It was objectively bad, yes. I'm promoting you to sometimes co-host instead of guest host, and you're going to have to, like, watch all of these in case you have to be an understudy and, like, one of us gets hurt and you have to host. You're going to watch every yeah. single podcast or decom every week. And then you'll understand, and then you'll be rating shit a one. I yeah, think it just, deserves right above a five, which is a six. <laughs> I will say the first, <laughs> the first like five or so movies that we did, I was way more generous because I was like full of nostalgia and childlike innocence and wonder. You you're witnessing my childhood like fall apart in front of you. <laughs> I need to. I wish. I wish I knew what Josh would have given this movie. I bet he would. Oh, have he given didn't. It like he that. hated it. He was so glad because I was like, "Hey, you haven't had like a week off. Like, why don't you, like Brandon wants to do it? You step back." And he's like, "Oh, thank God, I did not want to watch that movie again. I hate it." Oh man. Well, good thing I'm here. You're welcome, whoever directed this movie. That was this episode of Pod and the Together. <laughs> <laughs>